Let's talk about uh, LC low pass filter. I need a, a low pass filter that has a cutoff frequency of about 10 hertz, and I will use a 10,000 microfarad capacitor just because I have one here. Now, the formula to find the frequency of an LC low pass filter is this here. It's frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of uh, the inductance times the capacitance. So I know the capacitance, I know the frequency, we want to solve for L. So we can rewrite the formula like this, where L is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the frequency squared times the capacitance. So over here we have uh, 6.28 times 10, our frequency. We square that and we multiply that by 0 0.01 farads, which is uh, 10,000 microfarads. And it comes up to uh, 0 0.025 henrys, or 25 uh, millihenrys. So I need an inductor that's 25 millihenrys. I also need it to be able to pass 10 amps, so I wound this myself. This was the largest uh, core that I had, ferrite core, and this is number uh, uh, 15 uh, copper wire, which is capable of the 10 amps. And we're going to have to measure this to see what kind of uh, inductance we get out of it. So in order to do that, I just hooked up this simple little circuit here. And this is a uh, 50 ohm resistor here. I, I used 200 ohms in parallel. I also put one across here and then measured, made sure that I had uh, five, vol five volts across my function generator. So then I replaced this with the uh, coil here and I adjusted the frequency until the, the voltmeter right over here read 2.5 volts. And I know at that point that uh, the voltage would be divided equally here and the, the inductive reactance of the core would be uh, 50 ohms. And that happened at uh, uh, 4,860 hertz. Here's my voltmeter here. I'll show a picture of my uh, function generator too. Now, we know that the XL is equal to 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance. So we want to solve for the inductance, so we write the formula like this, where the XL is divided by 2 pi times the frequency. So we take our uh, XL uh, of 50 ohms and we, we divide that by our uh, uh, 6.28 times uh, 4,680, and that comes out to 0 0.0017, and that's in Henry's, or uh, 1.7 millihenries. So now, we didn't quite come up to our 25 millihenries, but let's see what kind of uh, frequency we, we can get out of that. So we use this formula here. I've got it written down here. And we're, now we're solving for the frequency because we know our uh, inductance and we know our capacitance here. So we have our uh, uh, 6.28 times the square root of our inductance times the capacitance, and it comes out to uh, 38.6 uh, hertz, which is uh, I think it'll be fine for for my use here. Now, in order to uh, make sure that this frequency, uh, this this formula here is correct, uh, now that I know the frequency and the capacitance, I'm going to plug that into here, and which I did here is 6.28 times 36.6 squared times the uh, capacitance, and that comes up to 0 0.0017. Kind of just a, a check on that. Also up here I'm doing the same thing. We know that the inductive reactance is equal to 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance over here. And so to find uh, the frequency, we take, turn my unit off here. To find the frequency, we take 1 over 2 pi L divided by the, the, uh, the inductive reactance. So it's 6.28 times uh, our Henry's here. Divide that by 50. Uh, and then we divide that whole thing into into one, and it comes out to 46 point uh, or 4,683 hertz, which is what we got on our our meter here. So kind of just a double check there. So uh, our low pass filter is going to have a cutoff frequency of uh, 38 hertz, and uh, actually I think that's going to be fine for our what I'm using it for. Anyway, uh, that's our LC low pass filter. Thank you.